So why am I not part of the Dasher Rewards program? Well, first of all, you have to have a higher acceptance rate. If you want to be part of the silver tier, you have to be at least above 50%, where I am currently at 11% with my acceptance rate. Now, I did try at one point, try to get my acceptance rate higher, but my issue was, one, there's a lot of lower paying offers coming in, backwards offers, and some of the offers that were coming and we're going to take me further out and the further you go out the more further you're going to end up going out now i used to drive full time i don't drive as often as i used to so i'm really picky about staying in my area now when i was full time i would go out further you know try different areas but because i drive not as often i like to stay within my area so i decline a lot of offers that are going to take me further out because i found over time i keep going further out and further out then I'm gonna have to travel all the way back to my zone to get back home so that's why I do a lot of declining I only hold out for reasonable offers but to get to a gold level you also have to be at 70% platinum has to be at 70% you also have your completion rate percentage as well as your customer rating percentage for silver it's 90% gold it's 95 platinum it's 90 I qualify for those that's no problem at all and then you do have to have your customer rating silver 4.5 gold 4.5 and then platinum 4.7 and then you also have to have 100 deliveries within the last 30 days for platinum so I qualify for silver gold and platinum at least when it comes to completion rate and customer rating I'm there but my issue is is the acceptance rate getting up to 50% which is going to be a struggle for me because of the offers that are coming in and then you know if I do get a reasonable offer sometimes it's going to take me into an area that I don't want to go so let me know if you're part of the Dasher Rewards program how do you like it what's your thoughts now I will say I do have a few people in my market that I've spoken with that are part of the program it works out for them they originally top Dasher they stay busy they see better quality orders but of course you're still going to get some of those offers that aren't so good that you have to decline and that's the issue trying to keep your acceptance rate up there I find I would have myself a big problem trying to do that um, I did have my acceptance rate reset oh it's probably been a little over a year now and you know I did see better paying offers I did end up having to take offers that were further out and over time with lower paying offers coming in my acceptance rate of course went down hence now I'm back at 11% but being at 11% I don't get a whole ton of offers from DoorDash I do get them here and there of course I do see a lot of low paying offers backwards offers but I do occasionally get a reasonable offer to take hence why I multi app so let me know if you're a multi apper or if you strictly stick with one app like DoorDash and you're part of the Dasher rewards program so I'm gonna go ahead and get these apps turned on I'm gonna turn on DoorDash Uber Eats, Grubhub, and Spark Driver. We're gonna see what kind of offers come in. I'll let you guys know what type of offers I receive from DoorDash. Being at 11% acceptance rate, I'm gonna get these apps turned on. I'll let you guys know once I get my first offer. All right, guys, a few offers came in. Now, of course, you can see that I'm in the passenger seat. Husband is driving tonight. Um, so with DoorDash, I was able to get right on. It says it was busy. Um, I hit Dash now, got on Online have not received any offers from DoorDash. All the apps have actually been kind of quiet. So Uber Eats brings this offer in and it's a trip radar, $28.49 for 2.8 miles. Now lately I feel like I've been seeing some good reasonable offers on a trip radar. So I tapped the match button and of course you have to see who's gonna get the offer because somebody else can get the offer with the trip radars. Well, usually it the wheel will spin and it's like trying to lock it in to see who's who's the best for the offer. It just kind of went away. It was weird. It just disappeared. It didn't do what it usually does. So I don't know what's up with that, but what a bummer. 
the other thing is with this offer is that is it even a real offer is it one of those offers that multiple drivers have came to try to pick it up and then they just unassigned it without properly unassigning it to where the price just keeps going up and up that's what i'm thinking it is but a bizarre offer if it was real I, that would have been awesome but i didn't get it um, so literally right after that, uh, Dickie's Barbecue came in for $7.43 for 3.8 miles. This offer will do. I wish I would have got the one for $28.49, but it was a funky order all around. Um, so we're going to take what we can get. We're going to go pick up this Dickie Barbecue. We're almost there. Hi. Uh, picking up for Julian Q, Uber Eats. Julian. See that one? Cool. Awesome, thank you, you too. All right guys, just in time, they're actually stapling up the bag, so it just might have came right out, um, which is nice. Customer is seven minutes, 3.1 miles. It is a meet at door. I did message them, we're on our way. Um, so let's go get them their Dickies barbecue. guys so the meet at door i pull up i message a customer first of all i message them that i'm on my way even though they do get notification pull up message them that i have arrived because sometimes that works they'll come out and meet me well none of that works i get up to the door i ring their doorbell they have a ring camera system and nobody still came out waited a few minutes didn't hear anything so i just left the food um obviously i have a recording of me dropping off the order took a picture for my records just to be on the safe side getting back in the car then he comes out and gets his order maybe he was doing something or maybe he was waiting for me to leave sometimes they forget that they put meat at door anyways he got his order i got my proof that the order was dropped off but on the way here, I did get two orders. Um, one of them was for $4.05 for 7.1 miles. That's an absolute no, a decline backwards offer. And then the second order that I got was $6.52 for 3.1 miles. So took that for Pan Express. We're heading there now. Also haven't heard a peep from DoorDash. I've actually left it on. Uh, so kind of tells you, you know, sometimes they're quiet. I do, again, have a lower experience acceptance rate speaking of them there they are let's see what it is guys oh gosh uh it is for three dollars 81 cents for 4.1 miles that is a decline and it was for jack in the box so no go and uh yeah let's go ahead to pan express for uber eats and get this order all right guys hopefully my order's ready because the drive through is long and the lot is pretty full of people today so Crossing my fingers. It's Reed C with Uber Eats. Reed. Oh, Reed? Reed, yeah. Sorry. No. <laughs> Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Yep, it is. Thank you. All right, guys, my order was ready. Thankfully, it was sitting on the shelf. I thought it was mine because I knew mine had a large drink with it. Sure enough, it was. Um, but on the way to picking up this order, DoorDash came in again four dollars 3.1 miles again another low paying offer so i ended up pausing my dash because we're gonna go drop off this order we are on our way we have three minutes 1.3 miles and it is a leave at door supposed to be a house too we're on our way
Easy drop off, we're gonna get out of this neighborhood. I'm gonna get DoorDash turned back on, see what else we can line up. All right guys, so DoorDash brought me in another offer and this is what it is. $6.25 for 5.5 miles. Now if it was a couple miles, I would have taken it, but not for 5.5 miles, so I declined that. Grubhub came in, first time hearing from them tonight, which is no surprise. Usually they don't bring me in very many offers either. Uh, it's a bad one though, $8.87 sounds nice but not for 11.9 miles that is just too far too far for that price backwards offer uber eats came back in it's an uber eats night six dollars 15 cents for 3.6 miles better than those other offers that came in for burgerville we are here right now we're gonna go in there and they're pretty good about having the order ready so we're gonna go get the order and get these wheels back to moving <laughs> Hi. Yes, for China H with Uber Eats. Alright, the top side might be a little hot, so be careful. Okay, cool, thank you. thank you. Alright guys, order must have just came out because it is super hot. She even warned me about the bag and she wasn't kidding. Super hot. Uh, customer 7 minutes, 2.7 miles, and I'm trying to see where they are leave at door and it seems to be a house we're on our way all right guys easy drop off i think i've actually delivered to this customer a while back um so tonight you know it wasn't that busy of a night um, it ended up being an Uber Eats night and I got some DoorDash offers, but they were no good, low paying. Um, I did have some Spark Driver offers as well, but they wanted to take me into another city. Don't want to go that far out, uh, but at least I got some offers, made some money, but I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys right here. Always so much appreciate you guys riding along with me. And of course, if you did enjoy the ride along, do give the video a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next next one. Bye guys.